All hands on deck. Here's Popeye. Try it with Popeye the Sailor Man. Letters, letters, letters from boys and girls everywhere. You just ought to see old Popeye's morning mail. It seems like all the boys want to be football players, and they're eating Popeye's favorite cereal because it makes muscle. And it looks like the girls all want to grow up in a hurry and be young ladies, so they eat Wheatina too. Because wheat is regular growing food. And my, the roses it puts into their cheeks. Yes, sir. And, mmm, boy, how good it tastes. Well, any other boys and girls want muscle or want to go fast? Okay, tell Mother you want that delicious wheat tomorrow. <laughs> Peanuts and popcorn, we find Popeye, Wimpy, Olive, and Matey visiting at the zoo. All hands are having one grand and glorious time. They've just walked up to the camel's cage. Well, blow me down. Has you ever seen the likes of such a peculiar animal? Gosh, Popeye, those bumps on his back look just like your muscles. Arf, arf, arf. If I had muscles that big, I could never get me shirt on. I heard that a camel can go nine days without water. Tut, tut. A trivial feat. Going nine days without hamburgers would be an accomplishment worthy of my admiration. Wimpy, you're just plain ignorant. Dumb animals never eat fried hamburgers. Perhaps that's why they are called dumb animals. Popeye, do you think the camera will like some peanuts? Now you has me stump, matey. I know squirrels and elephants eat peanuts, but I never see the camel eat them. Well, I'll see if this one does. I am proud of you, matey. On account you wants to share what you got with others. Here, Camel, would you like a peanut? In Camel language, he means desist, stop, quit that. Be careful, matey. Don't stick your hand in the cage. Oh, he won't hurt me. But I guess Popeye is right. He don't like peanuts. Would that I were in a cage and the good public came to feed me hamburgers. Come on, all hands. After the elephant cage, so maybe can feed him the peanuts. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that funny animal. Do you hear what I hear? Well, I'm a basket swap. If that funny looking mutt in the cage ain't a larfing at us. She's a member of the laughing hyena species. You mean an animal that can really laugh? Now I ask you, Olive, does that four legged oof sound like he was crying? Well, for lamb's sake, what's he laughing at? He has just seen Popeye's face. I says pooey to you, Wimpy. You ain't never won no beauty contest. <laughs> Does a hyena laughing mean a dog barking? Well, it, it's about the same thing, matey, I figures. I figure yonder elephants await their peanuts. Hooray! For once, Wimpy is thinking of somebody else's stomach. Twould appear I were a noble soul. We set the course straight for the elephant's cage. <laughs> Big. I wonder if one bag of peanuts will be enough. Well, maybe we make sure. We stops at this stand and we buys more peanuts. Ahoy there. Six bags of peanuts for matey here. Okay. Here you are, kid. Gosh, thanks, Popeye. Forget it, matey. What can I buy you, Olive? Hey, boss, we got a spongy cake, angela cake, and a stomach cake. Oh, dear. I'll just 
take a glass of lemonade. Okay, lady, come right up. There you are, kid. Popeye, Popeye. That sizzling, that beautiful fragrance, that intoxicating aroma. What are you talking about, Wimpy? Look, Miss Slowly Frankfurters lie lo lordly hamburgers. So they is. Popeye, don't torture me. I don't understand you, Wimpy. Popeye, you're a fiend. Peanuts for matey, lemonade for olive. But what? Oh, what for Wimpy? Ah, ah, ah. Did you want some peanuts? Peanuts? Peanuts he offers me. Popeye, this kind gentleman also sells a hamburger. Oh, does you want a hamburger, Wimpy? Down. He toys with me. How can you be so cruel? My craving for those luscious hamburgers has me faint. You like for to have hamburger sport? So, this is a plot to rob me of my sanity. Popeye, I think Wimpy does want a hamburger. Matey, I has me suspicions. That's what he's trying to tell us. I feel the beast in me rising. Oh, why don't you try a glass of this lemonade, Wimpy? It's delicious. Demons, all of you. All right. Hey, mister, see if Wimpy will eat a hamburger. Okay, boss. Come on around up. I am trembling with anticipated ecstasy. Here you go. Here you go, sport. A thousand thanks, royal purveyor of heavenly delectables. Oh, glorious hamburger, only J. Wellington Whippy can appreciate your scrumptious vitamins. Gee, Whippy ate that hamburger fast. A pity such hamburger were not twins, <laughs> perchance even quintuplets. Here's your money, mister. How do you like that? Thanks, boss. Hey, friends, we set sail for the elephant cage. We anchor all hands. Oh, look, there's the elephant. Goodness gracious, aren't they enormous? Oh, boy, I hope they didn't have their dinner yet. I am flabbergasted. One of them monsters on me barge, and she'd hit Davy Jones' locker. A huge mammal indeed. Hey, Jumbo, come over here. Look what I got for you. Isn't he heavy? I pity some poor swab's foot he steps on. Here's some peanuts for you, Jumbo. Blow me down. He sucks him up like a vacuum cleaner. Isn't it cute the way he curls up his trunk and blows him into his mouth? Here you are, Jumbo. I got some more for you. Oh, look. All the little children playing piggyback on yonder elephant. Where? Oh, look, Popeye. Look at all the kids. I am surprised. Riding an elephant? Please, Popeye, can I go for a ride? Sure, matey. Now, Popeye, it's too dangerous for the child. Aw, oh, gee, all the other kids are doing it. So your fears, Olive. If the other young ones can ride the elephant, so can matey. Oh, boy, thanks, Popeye. Come on, then can't you bring the elephant over here? Nay, Mohammed must go to the mountain. Full speed ahead before it's too late. Come on. Avast there, Captain. Don't weigh anchor yet. Mady's coming aboard. <sighs> Sorry, just finished the last trip. Time for the elephants to go in now. Aw, oh, shucks. I wanted a ride. And you get your ride. I buys all your tickets, mister. Well, I guess once more around won't hurt. Boy, oh boy. Give me a hand, Popeye. The elephant will lift you up, matey, with his trunk. Here, Jumbo. Put your trunk around the lad. Up you go. Guys, it's high up here. Anybody else going? Olive, I think you better board the craft with matey. Me? The steed awaits, Miss Oil. Oh, Popeye. Why is it safe? Sure, just like riding in me barge. Oh, will he squeeze me when he lifts me off? Nah, come on. Up you goes. Police, Mr. Elephant. Oh. 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 Oh, Popeye, I'm scared. Don't worry, Alice. I'm here. All set? I died, You can shove off. Gracious, what's that? Ah, a junior rodent. Greetings, Mickey. Hey, look out. It's a mouse. Mm. A little mousekey can't hurt you none. But elephants are definitely afraid of mice. Mm. Oh, it's getting a rough. I can't hold the elephant. Give me that rope. Mm. Oh, way, naughty.
Monty Mouse? Boy, this is like riding a bunker trunk. Stand still, you elephant. Oh, I hold him. Look out! The rope! The flasket rope busket. Wild. The elephant can't run out of the cage. I'll catch him when he comes around. You can't do that. You'll be killed. I am going to rescue Mady and Olive. The cowardly mammal is returning. I stand right here and stops the elephant. Man alive. How can you stop a wild elephant? I grabs him by his nose. Here he comes. Get out of the way. I am not a scared of no elephant. Ronnie, he'll trample you down. I says I catches him by the nose. I saved you, Olive. I told you you'd get hurt. Now I am mad at that elephant because he knocks me down. Elephant, elephant, give me, give me, give me. the mammal has won the first round. I catches the beast, but I need extra muscle. Wimpy, me favorite cereal. What are your requirements, Popeye? Because the elephant is the biggest monster in the world. I need at least four bowls to stop him. Four bowls coming up. Look, it's Wee Tina. Here's one. And another. And the third. And the fourth. Now look at me, Muscle. Now watch me catch that elephant and lay him among the sweepies. He's coming faster this time. You'll be killed. Come on, elephant. I checked your trunk. Popeye, save me! Ryan, come on! Look out! I stopped him, Olive. Cast anchor there. Cast anchor, you monster. Ah. Holy smoky, stop the elephant. Popeye, he resents your holding his nose. Stand still, you beast, or I socks you one. Get me off! Get me off! Roll, Popeye! Stand still, I says. Watch out. He's gonna lift you up with his trunk. Let go! Popeye never lets go. Look out! I told you he'd raise you right up. Let go or he'll smash you against the paws of the cage. It is too bad I has to do it. But, Mr. Relifink, you forces me to suck you. <laughs> I am a sad swab, on account I has to sock a poor dumb animal. Oh, don't worry about the elephant. He has a thick skull. He'll get over it. That's good. And because I did not mean to hurt him, I hope this elephant forgets. Say, Popeye. Yeah, matey. It was only a teeny weeny mouse that scared that big elephant, wasn't it? Yeah, matey. Which only goes to show, no matter how big anybody is, don't underestimate the little fella. Now, let's get this cereal business straight. As you know, there are a number of wheat cereals on the market, some hot, some cold. Several of them have wheat-sounding names, but they're not like Wheatina. There's only one Wheatina. W-H-E-A-T, Wheat. E N A. Now don't forget those last three letters. E N A. Wheatina. Now why is Wheatina hot? Well, because hot cereals are better for you. Where does that delicious flavor come from? From toasting that unrobbed wheat as only Wheatina does it. And when you want the hot brown wheat cereal, that gives you the vital parts of the whole grain and tastes so Mm G-O-O-D, you have to have Wheatina. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I am what I am, cause I am what I am. I'm Popeye the Sailor 